Hey guys, it's Mark here, and today I'll be talking about the SP POV Boy Gadget for the GoPro. So what it comes with is this thumb screw, this grip or handle, attachment at the top for the GoPro, and the and the strap for your wrist, which you can tighten. This is the thumb screw, the grip, and the strap. So SP gadgets say that this floats. So let's get the GoPro and see if it actually does. This is the floating test. So let's see. Okay, floats. As you can see, the SP POV buoy does float with the GoPro on it. Flap and wondering, does it float with the LCD touch backpack or the battery backpack because it's extra weight? So let's find out. So I have this battery backpack with the waterproof housing since we'll be putting it into water. And let me put it on quickly. Okay, so now that I've attached the battery backpack, let's go see if it floats. Okay, so this is the flowing test with the battery backpack attached to the GoPro on the POV buoy. Okay, it floats. As you can see, the POV buoy does float with the battery backpack attached to the GoPro. And and although it adds extra weight, there is a slight difference of how far um, the, the orange part is sticking out of the water with the battery backpack compared to the without the battery backpack. And one thing I really like about this SPBOV gadget is that there's an orange top and since it always floats with the GoPro facing down and this sticking out of the water, you can always find it easily, easily when you're looking for it like when you're scuba diving and you accidentally um, let go of it and it floats all the way to the top and then you can't find it but then you see this orange top and you'll know that it's yours. So yeah, that's really helpful. So another thing I really like about this handle grip is that it's very nice and also underwater it doesn't slip out of your hand and also just it's the perfect size for your hand it's not too small not too big and it's very light because it's made of plastic but it's also still very durable and yeah I hope you'll have a fun time with it and So to show you how good this actually floats, I will show you underwater underwater video from how fast it can float from the bottom of the pool there to the top in a couple of seconds. Or not even I don't know. Let's go see. So there are a couple different ways you can attach the GoPro or different angles that you can put the GoPro on the buoy to film or to take pictures, whatever you want to do. And some are, for some situations, you might want to have it like that, or some you might want to have it like this, and I'll tell you about this now. Some ways that you can film it with is like this, or you can film it like, like that, or you can have it all the way like this, like that, or you have it flipped like the selfie shot, like this, or you can have it um, upside down with the camera facing this way, and like this, so you can get a nice steady shot. Now, the benefits of filming like this is you can get a nice panorama, an easy, easy like view, whereas like this, it would be harder because you have to move your arm but like this, it's much easier. But this, you can't really film so steady unless you always hold it like this here. Because, because like this, you can always shake with your one arm. But like this, it's easier because you can put your thumb right here to hold it steady. 
then yeah it's nicer and this way is my favorite way because it's really relaxing and yeah it's just nice to film and this is this I don't know why but it just makes it feel a bit heavier and too angly I don't know just yeah <laughs> And then the selfie shot that's pretty cool, like when you do underwater dives or just like selfie of scenery or something. So that's good. And the the upside down one like this, that's basically like if you want to get like really smooth, steady shots, you just hold it like that for very long. And also underwater it should work if you attach this to your wrist so it doesn't float away. And yeah, so you can just play around with it, see what suits you. And yeah, good luck. Okay guys, so I uh, thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something from this video and about the POV gadget. And if you liked it, click the like button. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And more videos coming soon, so subscribe to my channel to be updated and to be notified. And at the end of this video, I'll leave a couple of clips of me using this gadget. And yeah, so peace.